Virgo. Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. And this is the week ahead reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or wherever you have a heavy Virgo placement. If you're new to my channel, hello. I pray before each and every one of my readings so that way my energy is protected, your energy is protected as well. If you're returning, thank you so much for returning and trusting me with your energy. I greatly appreciate it. First message we have here is, it's best if you don't know this. Wow, okay. Divine Feminine, I'm getting that there's a masculine in your energy field who is kind of sitting back and watching your every move at this time. This masculine is very spiritual and also very powerful. And they have been given some new information about your connection. This connection that I'm tapping into here is rare. And I mean that in every sense of the word. There are things that happen in both of your worlds that are no words for you to explain. And this makes the bond that you have very, very intense. You can communicate without saying words and you even read one another's energies very effortlessly, okay? Everything in this connection feels heightened. The emotional intensity, the mental compatibility, even the sexual chemistry. I'm getting that there are even activations that happen when you are speaking to one another. But this is a masculine energy that views you as the only person they have fully opened up to on a soul level. And because of this, it makes them incredibly protective over you, even when you're at a distance. But because they are so protective, there are some things that they feel it's best that you don't know at this time, okay? This masculine knows that you are highly intuitive and there's not really much that they can get away with when it comes to you. But for some reason, there's one thing that they're very adamant about presenting to you. It's almost as if they're hoping and wishing that you don't pick up on this intuitively because they really wanna control the narrative with this. But I'm not picking up on anything negative, but this does feel really heavy, okay? It may be something that they have been holding back for a while. For some of you, you have a feeling that there's something your person needs to tell you. But I'm getting that because you have a deeper understanding of them and also how your connection works, you know that there's only a matter of time before this information comes to the light, okay? Let's get the next message here. So the next message we have here is the truth is too painful. Okay. This dynamic that I'm picking up on is a very complicated one because it's almost as if there's a very deep understanding of how you feel, but there's still a lot of information being withheld here. If you're wondering why your masculine is being very cautious about how they present this to you, this is why. It makes them have mixed feelings about you because of the way your energy works in their lives. Divine Feminine, I'm getting clearly that there are some things happening in your person's life that they feel is tied to you in some way, but you're not doing anything to them directly. It's your energy. Whether you know this or not, your energy is coming across very loud at this time. Almost as if just being in your presence or being aligned with you is shifting things in their world. And they really don't know how to feel about this. But they are aware that this truth is going to come with some very painful choices they have to make. This is a masculine energy that lives their lives by a certain set of principles, okay? And it's almost as if once they have new information, they have to apply it no matter how it affects the people around them. And because of this, a lot of people may view them as being rigid or even very firm for behaving in this way. But they view this as a key element to their growth and their expansion. I'm getting bittersweet very clearly. So there may be a positive and negative aspect of this. But what's sticking out here is that it's very important that they share this with you because they know that this will affect you, okay? They also know that if you catch wind of this before they tell you, it can potentially affect your energy in some way. And this is what they're trying to prevent. But whatever this is, is very personal to them. So you are most likely the only person that they're sharing this information with because it feels bigger than them in some way. 
it feels like there's a higher power guiding them and helping them to clear this energy. They're also thinking about the best way to tell you this. And because this is personal, they may want to be face to face with you, okay? Or even over the phone. Although this masculine exudes a lot of physical strength, they may be a person who is very externally powerful or just exudes this very regal, powerful, dominant masculine energy. This is definitely a moment in time where they're hoping that you will be a soft landing for them, Divine Feminine, okay? Because whatever this is, you know, it feels heavy. Let's get the next message here. Wow, okay. So the next message we have is, I've been wearing a mask. Wow. If you're resonating with this message so far, you are connected to a masculine that is about to expose a very private aspect of their lives with you, okay? And they are very adamant about telling you this because deep down they feel like you already know, okay? They're very open with you about a lot, but they are definitely hoping that they can get to you before you confront them about this. When it comes to their personal lives and the people, places, and things around them, they feel like they are wearing a mask. And if they were to be 100% honest with you, you make them feel like an imposter. And they feel this way because if they were to let you into their world, you would be completely shocked by what you see. And this is pointing to everything, how they navigate life, their moods, their thought process, just their overall disposition would completely shock you. And it would feel like the person you fell in love with has become a total stranger, okay? Believe it or not, this is something that's very confusing for them as well. It makes them feel crazy because it feels so different from who they are when they're with you. This is the energy of a masculine who's coming into the awareness that there are two aspects of their being, okay? Their higher selves and their lower self. They're also being made aware that there are some people in their lives that will never see them in the way that you see them, Divine Feminine. It feels like you both aligned and you had access to all of them, both their light and dark energy. Even if they weren't able to kind of understand what this was, okay? But when it comes to other aspects of their lives, it feels like this energy is totally separated. This makes them question themselves. It also makes them question you as well, Divine Feminine, because it wasn't until you came into their lives that they begin to overanalyze everything. It's like God is bringing so much to the surface right now for them, and they need a moment to process all of this before they even think about presenting it to you, okay? So they are wearing a mask at this time, but not in this connection with you. They feel like they're wearing a mask to the world and they no longer wanna operate in this energy. Who they are when they're with you is their true self. And honestly, that's why they're so protective over you and your connection, because it's like they don't want it to be tainted by anything or anyone on the outside. So at this time in your connection, there's something very powerful happening with your masculine where God is forcing your person to take off the mask and show the world who they really are. And you are the reason for this divine feminine, okay? This is something that happens in the twin flame connection. And this also points to why it's so rare because you are unable to stay the same. It will literally make you question your entire existence. You will question if you've ever really been in love before. And it gets even deeper than that. There will be people, places, and things that you thought were permanent in your life that will begin to feel temporary, okay? It's like a huge switch goes off in your brain and your world turns upside down in an instant. And so although God chooses you for this journey, you still have to make a choice to answer the call to align with this energy. And the fact that all of this is happening with your masculine is confirmation that your person has made a choice about how they want this connection to play out in this lifetime, okay? This is a masculine energy who is choosing you, Divine Feminine, okay? They're realizing that they would rather have you in their lives 
than to exist as a lesser version of themselves, ignoring the call from God to ascend, okay? While also ignoring the deep yearning to experience your love, not only spiritually, but physically as well. Your person also wants you to know that they need to have all of you, all aspects of you in this time and in this space. But they're also realizing that this comes with the cost, okay? And honestly, they don't care what that is anymore. They are definitely in this position where they are choosing love over fear. Wow. Let's get the next message here. This is very beautiful energy. The next message we have here is addicted to your authenticity. Yeah, um, I feel like this is a very specific message for a divine feminine from your masculine here. Um, you make your person realize the power of energy. You also make them realize that they don't have a type when it comes to feminine energy. And this is what blows their mind when it comes to you, divine feminine. Every single thing that they thought they knew about love and attraction, you completely shattered this ideology. You are a frequency. You are not a type, okay? You work with energy. You possess an aura of light. And they know that this is not all about love and light when it comes to this connection. They are aware that there is another side of you as well. And this is something that's often overlooked when it comes to feminine energy. Some people think that you are all love and light, but feminine energy is also dark energy. And that doesn't mean negative or bad, it just means dark. It's mysterious, it dwells in the subconscious. It's able to exist in places that are unseen and able to pick up on information that others may easily overlook, okay? There's power in both light and dark energy, but it takes a well-balanced feminine energy to properly integrate this and to know how to manage it because it is so powerful. So although you exude this very nurturing, soft, delicate energy, um, where you speak in a tone that really soothes your masculine and you can pick up on things that they would rather not say, your intuition is synced with them emotionally, mentally, and sexually. So you automatically, just by being their counterpart, have the password to their internal world. But this is not the only side of you. And your masculine will identify this very early on. There is immense power in your darkness and your ability to kind of turn chaos into order and to change the vibrational frequency of your life and also your divine masculine's life, okay? This feminine energy that I'm tapping into, you have seen some things and this makes you well-rounded. And the way the energy is coming through is really touching on the fact that the power within a twin flame connection is massive. And this requires a strength that you both possess. The way that you display this is different, but it's equally as powerful. Your masculine is beginning to see you very clearly at this time. And this is what makes you the divine feminine, your authenticity. The fact that you are all things, both light and dark, okay? You know this and you assume this energy at the most appropriate time. Your masculine really thinks that this is incredibly fascinating to watch and to be on the other side of your affection. This is why they can find you in any lifetime, Divine Feminine, because they don't identify you with superficial titles. They identify you by your frequency. And this is something that can never be duplicated. It's totally unique to you. I'm also getting that this is why your masculine will pull on you in many different ways and trigger you in many different ways. It's a way for them to identify you. They want to see all of you. And that's why this connection is so rare because it's raw, it's real, and it's authentic. And other people would not be able to understand some of the things that happen when you align with one another. You know, it's much too powerful. And that's why it's imperative for your energies to be balanced because it can cause major, major shifts in your lives, even turmoil, if not handled properly, okay? Let's get the next message here.
The next message that we have here is, it's better this way. Hmm. Yeah, honestly, your person's attitude at this time, there's been like this shift, okay? Where it's almost as if once this energy has come out, once this energy is being cleared, something is happening to them internally, okay? It's like your person's attitude at this time is coming through very confident, maybe even a little cocky when it comes to you, okay? And I'm getting that this is a masculine that doesn't usually lead with this energy, but there have been so many confirmations about this connection and they are very happy about what's being revealed to them about you, okay? It also serves as some form of reassurance that even God is on their side when it comes to you. This is highly spiritual energy coming through here. And it touches on another side of the twin flame journey that may be very hard to put in words, but you and your person can feel this in a very real way. When you are aligned with your person in this lifetime, and your connection is tied to a higher purpose, you will literally get to this point where you begin to repel anything that does not align with you or that goes against the original contract that you both agree to. Your masculine is in this place where they can see this energy playing out in their lives, Divine Feminine. And honestly, it's giving them a little hope that whatever may be standing in the way of both of you is not as important as they thought it was in the past. This is also someone who wants you badly, okay? I just got that clearly. That just came in very, very clear. So although you may not be able to see how your person's energy is in connection to the other people in their lives, they can definitely feel a massive shift happening and they're pleased with this. They feel as if it's better for them to only have access to you in this way because they know the power that you possess, Divine Feminine. And honestly, they feel as if they are the only ones who can handle you on all levels, okay? This is mentally, emotionally, sexually, and spiritually. This is someone who is definitely learning to kind of get out of God's way when it comes to this connection, okay? Because the truth is that it's only a matter of time before things begin to shift on the physical. What you are witnessing at this time is a direct response of the work you and your masculine have been putting into this connection spiritually. And you understand that there are two sides to everything, including you. There is light energy, but there's also dark energy. And properly integrated, it makes your connection with your masculine way more powerful because there are no more secrets. Everything is out in the open and you both are no longer able to hide from one another. Your person is also aware that you were created for them and only them, okay? And this is not something that you have to say. This is not even something that you have to lead with. This is the overall frequency of your energies together and apart, okay? Let's get the last message here. Okay. So the last message we have here is crown chakra. This is a very spiritual, a very, very spiritual dynamic, okay? Um, and this is highly ranked in the spiritual realm, but there have definitely been some setbacks in the physical. And it's because your energies are way more powerful than you think. This type of connection is one that has to be done properly because once you come together, there will be no more separation. Okay, I'm getting that clearly. And so if you're in this place where you know you and your masculine are destined to align in this lifetime, but you are experiencing delays, your energies are being balanced. This is a connection that manifested through the crown chakra. And it has to come into the physical through the crown chakra. I hope this is coming through clearly here. But it's so powerful that you will literally have to raise your energy from the root up. And with every level, there are versions of yourselves that you must conquer and fully integrate. Your person is aware of this right now, okay? And they can feel you getting closer to them. It's also important for you to know that you are connected to a very powerful masculine energy, okay? They have their moments where they are incredibly discouraged by the distance in your connection, and they just wanna rush toward you. And you feel this because they send you very powerful signs. 
so powerful that you can actually feel their presence or you even get physical sensations when you feel their energy near you. This is letting you know that they are close to you and that they're yearning for your energy as well. There are also times where they can feel you and they instantly want to protect you, okay? There's a lot of communication happening at this time on a higher level. And it's letting you both know that your connection is heading in a different direction. But this is very interesting because your masculine can feel that something is shifting. Because it's like both of you are being reserved for one another. And while they may not fully understand why this is happening, or they may not even know how this is happening in your world, they can feel it in a very real way. And this only happens when you and your person are about to come into a permanent union in this lifetime, okay? Also, before I close out, I've been getting the numbers 1111. So if you've been seeing this number, your guys want you to know that there's currently divine timing at work in your connection. This is something that may be on you and your person's mind at this time. And so the universe is responding to you with this number synchronicity to let you know that you are on the same page. I'm also getting that whenever you see this number, this is a sign that your person sees it as well. This also speaks to the vibration of the number one, which is all about manifestation and new beginnings. So this is a very positive sign that your person is viewing your connection in a new light and that they're also standing in their power. Also, when you get this number, this is a reminder to pay attention because the universe will be responding to you and your desires by sending you very direct and blatant signs to answer the questions that you may be seeking and also to provide you with clarity on your journey. This also signifies that you and your masculine are very in sync right now and will most likely be receiving the same signs or messages, but in very different ways, okay? Okay, loves, I'm going to go ahead and end the reading here. If you resonated with this message, be sure to hit the like button on the way out. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.